Take a little stroll down historic Dexter Avenue in Montgomery, Alabama, and you'll find there's a historic sign that you need to check out. The Alabama Department of Tourism stuck a marker right outside the doors of Chris's Hot Dogs, commemorating its 100th year of selling this American staple, held together by a secret sauce. See that right there? A politician was here. So, I bet you already know where this is going. What the heck happened here? If I ask you to think of famous Alabama food, I bet that you're probably going to think of something fried and probably illegal to purchase in the state of California. But down here in Montgomery, the answer is the hot dog. And Chris's has been serving it up to everybody for over 100 years. I'm talking from Elvis to Oprah. Um, maybe not everyone. I don't, I don't know if vegans are allowed in there. You can probably already tell, but Chris's isn't big or fancy. But I mean, that's not why you come to a place like this. This is a place about all the people. A place for friends and family to grab a bite and a place that already knows your name and your order before you can even walk in the doors. I don't know, I don't even have to order. She'll, she'll see me walk in and they'll bring it and sit in there. This is Theo and Gus Katichis, the second and third generation owners of Chris's Hot Dogs. Patriarch Chris Katichis, an immigrant from Greece, began this little place to carve out his own American dream. Very humble man, um, very loving man who uh, loved everyone, really. Didn't matter what color you were either. And when he came through Ellis Island, uh, he saw the hot dogs on Coney Island and kind of brought hot dogs to Alabama. What's more American than hot dogs and hamburgers? He saw the opportunity like everyone else who comes to this country. His greatest day was in 1922 when he became a, a U.S. citizen. And that was when he became American. Not a Greek American, but an American. So this place started off as a newspaper stand and a um, fruit stand. I heard rumors though that the fruit was just to cover up the whiskey during Prohibition. Come in and look at the walls. All the Alabama governors, presidents, musicians, leaders, all patrons of Chris's hot dogs. This place has had a lot of, uh, saw a lot of history happen here. History served hot with a steam bun, all beef dog, a swipe of mustard, fresh chopped onions, bold kraut to make it less sour, and that doggone chili sauce. And I've heard, well, according to the website, that only two or three people know the recipe. That's correct. So we're not sure if the third person really knows or not. I'm gonna take a bite of this hot dog, see if I can guess what the sauce is. Okay. Uh, if I get it right, are you gonna tell me? No. And our chili sauce is what's kept us in business for 104 years. I've tried for years, years to give them to them. They won't, they won't say. All right, here we go. Pickle juice. No. Cinnamon. No. Paprika. Tabasco. Worcestershire. No. Mayonnaise? No. Whiskey. No. No. And let me tell you, they stay busy with a lot of hot dogs coming off that teeny tiny grill. How many hot dogs did you sell out of here on a day? What's the average? If I had time, I kind of wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> Chris's has been in this exact location on Dexter Avenue since it first opened its doors in 1917. Now, Dexter Avenue is more than just a street. It's a highway of history. The March to Selma went up this road. Martin Luther King's church was on the corner. The telegram that launched the Civil War was sent just down there, and at the end of the street is where Rosa Parks got on the bus. And they say that Hank would come in here and get drunk and write a few songs. So the story is that Hank Sr. would come in here and get, he had a special meal. Yeah, he'd get a hot dog shot and a beer. That was, that was the Hank. That was the Hank special. And then he sat right here. Right here. Yep. Uh, and wrote, Hey, good looking. Hey, good looking. Yeah, he was sitting here writing lyrics, and a pretty lady came walking in and says, Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Say, so it wasn't you, That's a rumor? Is that's, that that's what I've heard. True? That's, that's what I've heard. I mean, let's be honest. You knew that Hank would drink often. Yeah. So, and y'all were cooking? Yes. I mean, it fits, exactly. I guess. When he was a boy, he lived about three blocks away. And um, when he was a boy, he'd get two hot dogs and chocolate milk. When he was older, he'd start drinking whiskey. Yeah. So. It's a natural progression. Exactly, chocolate yeah. milk to whiskey. That's the gateway for yeah. the Hank. The Hank special. Okay. Uh, oh, Cheers. Yeah. I like to work like to drink, never together. Whoop. 
many of these. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm not filming it yet. Let's just do it. Let's do it. <laughs> How much do I owe you? Because you know, night and day prices, you know, the prices. Uh, I would like what's on that board right there. It's a Sunday. Today's not Sunday. You're not open on Sunday. That's, 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 yeah, that's some Chick fil A nonsense that you're pulling on me right there. That is. Man. That is. That is. So today's price is about ten dollars. Uh, Sunday prices was uh, about thirty cents. And you sold cups of buttermilk. I did. The most expensive thing on the menu is pick the pig's feet. I don't sell those anymore. Yeah, what happened to the pig's feet? I don't, I don't sell them anymore. Not a big seller. Not a big seller anymore. But um, yeah, $10. <laughs> what do you think about this? I'll just, I'll get the dishes. Okay. Right. I'm telling you right now, take a trip to Dexter Avenue, read some signs, and eat some spicy history. That sounds good though. <laughs> oh? No. Uh, no, no. I thought I had it. <laughs>